An incredible this view. Right, this is the spooky shit here. Good morning, guys. Today I am leaving Zagreb. I just wanted to say a massive, massive, massive shout out to Renata. She's hosted me for nearly a whole week. We've had a couple of days um, just hanging out in her apartment, relaxing, giving me a chance to relax, recover. And yeah, we just had such good laughs and rides and barbecues. And I really don't have much footage from my time here, but I met some incredible people and made some incredible memories. So I'm really, really grateful to her uh, and to meeting her was such a privilege and for her to introduce me to all her friends. And yeah, if, if you want to see some pictures and stories, keep up to date with the Instagram, but I don't have much footage, but really wanted to give her a big shout out and a massive thank you. But today I leave and yeah, we've got some off-road planned and then she's hooked me up with some great contacts so i'll see you on the road guys we are headed up to this abandoned monument in the middle of nowhere we climb all the way to the rooftop stay tuned for those views we have hit the dirt um, up until about now it was just a really nice flat gravel road but it's already getting a little rough so We'll see if we can do all 50 k's. I have a new rear which is not as knobbly, so it'll be. I already took it off, as you guys already know, off road in really deep mud, and it did well, but I wasn't fully loaded. So yeah, we'll see how today goes. We're gonna visit some historic sites. Guys, at the. Uh, First monument. I don't know if I'm really supposed to drive up here. There's some other people here, but it's pretty mad. They're called Spomineks, which in their native language is a monument, and it's from the Yugoslavia era, and there's loads of them all across the Balkans. And each monument is put in an important place, a historic place, where a historic battle happened. If you want to read more about these monuments there, uh, I'll leave the link in the description, there's a really great website, and it tells you more about the history and why, why the monuments are designed like this and not like your what you would expect from a more of a war memorial. I love history so I find this stuff really interesting so I'll put the rest I'll put some links in the description for you guys can read about it but yeah uh, it's super fascinating obviously since the wars um, people wanted to be an individual country so a lot of these places are derelict left out in the middle of nowhere abandoned and uh, yeah no, not much care towards them. But let's go check this one out see see what we find this one is called petragora but yeah pretty mad eh it's just kind of a shame that they have been left and abandoned and derelict but yeah should we go inside it's a little creepy let's go let's have a look I already know there's a family here, but I don't know if they went. I think they went inside. This is really creepy and I don't know if this is the way in, but there's other people here. So let's see if we can find a way in. bigger from the inside. Yeah. 
You know, I just think, yeah, like, if a place could talk. Uh, yeah, pretty mental. <laughs> You're well. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Amazing. Look at this view. It was a bit spooky coming in through the dark, but once you got up to the floors with the light, um, this is incredible, this view. I don't quite know if I trust this roof. place is crazy you kind of forget this was a memorial at one point uh yeah it's in complete complete ruin the guys i met a local they said these metal plates were over the whole structure at one point but this view is to die for it's hard to contemplate the history that happened here and now it's just so peaceful and quiet That's the C90, that's how high we are. This is just crazy, there's a feeling in the air. It's like, you almost feel the sadness, you know? You know, it's so difficult because I can never understand the history that followed. It's not my history, but still the people that died in these hills were somebody's family, you know? And it should be remembered, no? I don't know. I came up with a local person, so I really hope I don't get lost getting back out. But yeah, look at this. It's a long way down. Let's see if we can find our way out. Hey guys, I'm lost. <laughs> There's so many alleys and darkness that you can't find a bloody way around. That's the way I came up. That's the way we went up. Is this the way down? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Found it. the spooky bit going down through the dark. This used to be the main entrance. The guy was telling me until recently the doors were open. But it makes sense to maybe at least try and preserve what is left. Right, this is the spooky shit here. It's literally pitch black on my phone torture shit and my other torches on the back. Hopefully, don't get lost. It's like a maze down here. I'm looking for the sign that says, are you lost? Because the exit's just opposite it. I don't remember going down to those pallets. So I think it's across here. Yeah, I remember this water. Yeah, there's the sign. You lost. Here we go. I think I did pretty well there. Uh, getting in was a whole other maze going around in circles. <laughs> right, we made it out. This wall is the last thing between me and freedom. Whew. It's all right, I'm pretty nimble, but in the spikes here, yeah. it's a whole other story.
Yeah, UV. Yeah. <laughs> wow, long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak English. Leave no, me. no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> ah, are you alone here from GB here with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> <come> here! <laughs> It's a national, but it's a nature park, and yeah, it's incredible. Uh, I bloody love being in the countryside. Like I've been in the city for a few days, and now I, I breathe fresh air. And potholes jump out of nowhere. I've seen two deer so far, but haven't got the camera on quick enough. So. Can't be looking for nature on these roads because the potholes. Come out of nowhere. into swamp territory. Jeez, doing ice skating this afternoon. side because it looked even better over there but first but first we need to sort our accommodation out and I think I'm staying in a moto clubhouse so. good morning guys this is where I slept big shout out to moto club I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that because I'll definitely get that wrong but yeah they let me crash here on the sofa and yeah um, really great night's sleep. I ended up giving myself food poisoning, which was not fun. So I spent two days here and explored Slum once I got over my bout of making myself sick. <laughs> Seemed good at doing that recently. Um, yeah, let's get on the road. Cheers, guys. Hey, guys. Thank you for watching. Honestly, means the world. Hit that subscribe button. Like really helps the channel grow it really helps me out and the bigger this channel gets the bigger that the videos are gonna get for you guys i've got so many plans this year so yeah see you on the next one